all I want to say is, bitch, if y'all got a problem with anybody in this world that's LGBTQ or any other situation that is different from you, then bitch, you can suck and lick an asshole that's full of rat poisoning. Okay? Shawty do her own shit, very independent, whipping in the kitchen and trying to run a business. Hey. That's a queen, right? Hey, hoes. Welcome back to Talk Time with Rowe. Mama just might be a hoe and I am back, 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 back again with another video. And as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be doing Talk Time with Rowe. Before we get into the video, you already know what to do. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post my next video. Okay, y'all. So, let's get into <laughs> this little story time or whatever or whatnot. Um, it's really not that much. It's really not that deep. It's really not that serious. And it's, I'm very grateful. Um... I actually talked about this on my old couple channel, but you know, this is a new channel, new me, and y'all getting to know me, so I'm going to say it again. I know a lot of people have, like, all these, like, major-ass, long-ass, tragic, very sad and heartbroken, um, coming out stories, but I actually don't, um, <laughs> I actually don't. I wouldn't say me and my mom have, like, a close, close relationship, but it was always just, like, me and her, like, my dad there or whatever, but, like, he in and out all the time and then really my mom was working a lot too so really i was like a latchkey kid or whatever but yeah my mother is a god fearing woman okay um whatever whatnot and you know most of my family you know we're church going and things of that nature now i wouldn't say they're like just yo god 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 all down your throat because it's a difference some people be trying to just shove it down your throat my people weren't like that but we was very much still involved per se but i want to say like kind of i grew up in the church or whatever always was in church um <laughs> from my knowledge so yeah i grew up in a doggone church um how i feel about that now we're gonna say that answer for another day um but um you know i was very involved in church my mom was very involved in church um i praise dance for oh a long long time um i also was in the drill team or whatever whatnot um choir i don't know why but yeah um so i was very involved in church or whatever for a long time up until like i'll say my sophomore year of high school per se or whatever um until i started being able to tell her i didn't want to go anymore um <laughs> And so, um, I didn't too much talk to <laughs> my parents as much. Like, I was, and then also I was very involved in school activities. Because if I wasn't doing church activities, I was doing school activities. So, I was in band and step teams and choir again. Um, I don't know who the fuck I thought I was. Um, <laughs> and so many other stuff. I was very much involved in school, after school programs and church things. So, I was always just here and there as well. So nobody really was communicating and talking like that. But I knew my mama loved me. So, But I say all that to say, I wasn't too scared to tell my mom that I liked girls. Um, because my mom always showed me that no matter what the hell I do say or whatever, she loved me to the fullest. I'm her only freaking child. Who else are you going to love? Well, now since I got a daughter, she loves my baby more than me. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> when I first realized that I kind of was like maybe interested in girls was probably like in middle school. But um, I never really just like pushed up on the situation because I was like still communicating with boys and stuff like that. But like I was kind of like looking like at females a little differently but not too much or whatever or whatnot. My freshman year, going into my freshman year, I got with my child's father and I was with him for the longest or whatever, on and off again or whatever or whatnot. But like I said, we had a long off period and that's when I finally like, you know, was like, okay, I'm gonna see what this is that I have going on in my head and we're gonna see what goes on and experiment and see what it is. I found out within myself that I liked it, what I liked it or whatever, whatnot. Um, by this time, my mama noticeably knew that me and who's now my child's father wasn't together or whatever, whatnot. So, um, she seen me hanging <laughs> with more of 
um, more studs and things like that. But my mom was the type of mom that she ain't gonna say nothing. She ain't gonna say nothing. She might see shit, she might peep shit, but she ain't gonna say nothing. She ain't gonna mention nothing about nothing. And also, I knew my mom wasn't gonna too much judge me because I have friends that are studs and she fucking loves them. She loves them like, not, <laughs> not all of them, but, <laughs> but two of them, my mom loves them like they're her her kids or whatever. My mom's a very loving person, period. If people knew her, know her, they know she loves everybody. So I knew she wasn't gonna too much judge people because she seen me hanging around more studs and things like that. And you know, she never said nothing about nothing. She never judged nobody or said nothing about anything. So um I think now this is why I get things confused, okay, because baby life and huh, shit happens. I think I wrote her a note. I either wrote her a note or I text her. Because when I told her I was pregnant, <laughs> I wrote her a note or either text her. So I be getting two situations confused because I know I don't too much. I'm like I said, I'm very antisocial and I'm very, I have social issues, okay? I can't really function to talk to people like that or whatever. But um even with my own mom, like I just like like I said, me and my mom we cool or whatever, but we I just like I don't know. It's weird. It's weird conversating. So um and then my mom honestly to be honest with y'all my mom never really like opened that door for me to just be like you know just like telling her anything and everything or whatever because my mom just wanted to keep me pure in her own eyes and in out in the world she didn't want to believe that anything was going on that i was doing anything so she didn't think i was doing anything or whatever or whatnot she didn't want to like discuss anything that involved me growing up <laughs> to be honest with y'all like um, we didn't discuss menstrual cycles together. She just gave me a book or whatever to read about the shit. We didn't discuss sexual encounters. We didn't discuss much. Like, I was busy after school activities. Um, when I got a job, I was busy working. I was busy at school. She was busy working or whatever. And <laughs> we crossed paths at night. And the majority of the time, I stay in my room. So, we didn't really too much talk like that. So, I didn't just feel like... I can just be like, hey mom, da, 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 I'm pregnant, or hey mom, I like females. So, one of the two, I either wrote her a letter <clears throat> and stuck it in her purse, and by the time I got to school and by the time she went to work, she seen it, or I either texted her by the time she got to work and read it there while I was at school or something like that. Okay, so yeah, and I'm just like, you know, um, I don't know how you gonna take it or whatever, whatnot, or some of them those lines or whatever. I know, you know, you believe, you know, in God and all of what they say or whatnot or whatever the case might be. I honestly, to be honest with you, I don't know what the Bible says about being gay or whatever, whatnot. Because I did not read it, nor did I pay attention. And I'm just going to be very honest and blunt with you guys. I retain nothing when it comes to anything that I've learned in church. I'm sorry. I honestly just wanted to praise dance because I love doing it. I honestly just wanted to do drill team because I love stepping. Um, so, sorry, but all those years of church, I know nothing at all. I had um, told her what I told her. I'm just like, you know, something on the lines of, you know, I know, you know, you might think this and the third, but you know, I do like um, females and hopefully you don't take it you know, in the, in the wrong way or whatever. I'm still the same person. I'm still me or whatever, whatnot. And the only thing my mama said was, um, I love you. <laughs> she was like, oh, it's fine. Or something like that, whatever. You know, this was a long time ago, y'all. <laughs> uh, but she was like, you know, it's cool or whatever. I love you or whatever. You know, I'm still gonna love you regardless. Like, that was it and that was all, baby. We ain't talk about it, we ain't discuss it. I think she probably thought I was going through a phase. Well, that phase lasting a very long time <laughs> but i honestly think she probably thought i was going to a face because then <laughs> i'd be confused with her <laughs> she probably like lord my child bless you <laughs> but uh she probably thought it was a phase because um 
obviously I ended up with a child somehow so me and my child's father ended up reconnecting somehow or whatever and I ended up having a child and I ended up having to tell her that I was pregnant or whatever or whatnot so that was either the text message or the um, notes so she probably was like bitch you just told me you like girls and now you got a baby like the math ain't math and like come on now and my mom is on the older side of um parents she the 63 64 something along those around those lines and i am 26 so yeah most people parents that are my age are younger than that so you know it's a little different it's a little different upbringing than most or whatever and my dad on the other hand i never too much tell my dad anything like <laughs> my dad just sees it and goes with the flow like my dad is very go with the flow type of dude like he don't trip about nothing he don't say nothing about nothing like he just living and seeing how long life gone keep him here like <laughs> big chill he don't really care about too much about nothing or nobody business so yeah and the only person I was really worried about telling was my mom like I wasn't worried about school because the school I was at everybody fucking gay or attempted to be gay of some sort or act like they weren't gay but they were very much gay but yeah I wasn't worried about school like, I, I, I did not have to worry about that weird ass shit kids at school. I never gave a fuck about kids anyways or people anyways. I just wanted my mom to know and I only cared about what my mom said. I also cared about what my grandma said but my grandma just like her child very loving and caring like you know older people you might think they have this stuck up ass opinion on life and how high life should go and which majority of them do but none of my people was with this shit like everybody like everybody was so accepting to the shit like and then if you wasn't, then I really didn't too much give a fuck. Yeah, it wasn't nothing much um, on that. Like, and I'm just like, <clears throat> really just so grateful and happy that I really didn't have to do too much. And my people ain't doing too much. I said nothing about me being who the fuck I am. Um, they're very accepting of uh, my wife and who she is and how she dressed or whatever. Don't nobody judge her or say anything. If they do say anything, they ain't say it to me and I ain't never heard it come back to me. So, hey, yeah, you're doing a good job of keeping it to that motherfucker self. Just doesn't um, click in my head on how some of these parents can do their kids because like I said, my mom is a very God-fearing lady. Like, and that didn't, that didn't stop her from you know, just loving me as a child and accepting me as a child. My mom is um old school, but that didn't stop her from caring about me, loving me, and accepting me. Like so, that's why I'm just like baffled on how some parents can just do their kids any type of way, kick them out, um, you know, disrespect them, call them all types of names, try to take them to go get fixed, and all this other weird shit. It's just like I don't get it. So yeah, y'all, just to wrap it all up. I really didn't have too much of um, a story on coming out, but that was just how my situation played out, and I'm so grateful that my situation played out that way, because like I said, things can go very, very terrible, and I just don't understand how people can treat their kids that way. Um, people honestly do not choose, I believe, you can say what you want to say, do not choose to um, just purposely piss their parents off and be like, oh, well, let me say I'm gay, lesbian, or whatever the case may be to piss my parents off. No, they feel how they feel. It's within them. Some people, I know people that actually don't want to be mother freaking gay or whatever, but they can't help the urge of pleasing who they want to please or like what they like, but even though they don't even like that within themselves because they're being taught or groomed or freaking just drilled in their head that the shit was wrong or whatever to the point that they don't even like the fact that they like the <clears throat> same sex that they try to force themselves to be more manlier or more of um straight or whatever the case may be i see people all the time have so much to say about lgbtq community and all these things that's going on now don't get me wrong some of the things that are being done or said sometimes they'd be like all right you're doing too much but for the majority of it like let people do what the fuck they want to do dress how they want to dress whatever the case may be be who they want to be like who they want to like it's not hurting nobody even if things didn't go so smoothly the person that i am my whole family or whoever had a problem with it would have been cussed out and i would have said fuck them and gone by my way because it's it's not it's really not that deep on what the fuck somebody else wants to do with their life so yeah it didn't cause no inconvenience to you so Half of the shit the motherfuckers are told not to like, not to do, 
or whatever that they gonna it's a sin or this that, and the third everybody fucking does it anyway so why should this sin or whatever the fuck the case may be be any different than the sins that y'all motherfuckers do all the other times y'all not in their bedroom they're not harming y'all they're not doing anything to y'all like and it, it it kills me when um majority of guys love a lesbian situation but as soon as it's two guys it's a problem or if it's a stud in a film and not two films it's a problem like make it make sense baby i mean same sex is same sex and then that's another thing like people sit up here on the internet and say so many so many different rude ass shit and like don't realize that they're offending people that they so-called claim as their partners and their friends. Like, there's so many people on the media that uh, have an issue with something that's LGBTQ related, but then your partner is a stud. Okay, your best friend is a stud, or you got hella lesbian friends, or, you know, somebody in your family may be in the LGBTQ community, or something like that. So it's just like, I'm not understanding how you have such these negative comments on a situation where your friend or family member is a part of that situation. Make it make sense. Once again, the math is not mathing. So, yeah, all I want to say is, bitch, if y'all got a problem with anybody in this world that's LGBTQ or any other situation that is different from you, then bitch, you can suck and lick an asshole hole that's full of rat poisoning okay i'm glad my situation happened the way i happened to anybody and everybody around me was accepting to me because y'all going to have to fight me or kiss my ass <laughs> and i just wish everybody would have the mentality like i know some people just like but that's my family oh that's my family and i love them and I, I still miss my family and all this shit but at the same time your family not gonna accept you they can suck your penis plain and simple you will find family in other places because if you can do your child like that it's no coming back to that like i don't like those type of things i don't like trying to beat it out of people i don't like trying to mother freaking just keep on calling them names i don't like them kicking them out any of the weird dumb shit that motherfuckers do i don't like it because i don't understand it and it's just like if my mom can be the person she is why the fuck can't y'all ignorant motherfuckers just accept y'all goddamn kids for who the fuck they is? What they doing is not going to affect, affect you or harm you at all. At all. These are your children, people. Your children. And it kills me when guys, it, it, it's, it's already <clears throat> hard for lesbians and stuff like that and studs and things like that and transgenders and stuff like that. But it's like, I honestly feel like gay men black men especially gets it so much worse and that shit kills my soul because i know people and have seen people just like go in on a african-american gay man but then i i am an african-american lesbian but it's cool but it's cool for me and it's just like i don't like this especially i understand as a father you want your manly manly son to go play football and shit your son can still be manly manly and play football with you but still like what he like like i mean it is what it is like so many people be too worried about what other people are going to say about their child when that shit don't even fucking matter and that's a good point that i just brought up because my mom never cared about what anybody said about me okay she let people know that i am married to a woman or whatever the case may be so like she's not worried about what the next motherfucker has to say because bitch um i'm not your child it doesn't matter so yeah i wish all parents could be more like my mom like regardless of what your your take on life is how you were raised how you were brought up what your religion is or whatever the case may be you just accept your child because that's your child plain and simple i feel like the only time you don't need to accept your child is if that motherfucker is a serial murderer or a serial rapist okay so yeah i know i didn't say it a lot i know i was here and there everywhere with it but i just had to come on here and say this and throw this all in one topic together because since i was talking about my little coming out story or whatever i might might as well throw in all the rest of the stuff with the lgbtq community that i wanted to just touch upon or whatever whatnot um so yeah y'all make sure to follow me on instagram at pearls creations by row make sure to um add me on tiktok at talk time with row and make sure to like and subscribe hit the notification bell and oh y'all i'm saving this one story i have because i have one good story or whatever why not um 
I probably have two good I have two. I have two stories. But I'm kind of waiting until my numbers go up. So if y'all can help me out, help me get to a hundred subscribers. Okay. Um I want to do a story time on when I had a stalker, you guys. I'm not making this shit up. I had a real life ass stalker. I will tell y'all the name of the person, but I'm going to probably keep the bitch under wraps for now. Okay, because it's an old situation, but I still don't like the person because what would happen should never happen to begin with. So let me calm down before I get mad. But uh, I want to tell y'all my little stalker story or whatever, whatnot. And I also want to tell y'all my pregnancy experience because that was very wiggly, wiggly, whack and very um sad. But um, yeah, I have some other stories I want to tell y'all, but I don't want to put those out yet until. I get some more subscribers. So yeah, um, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post my next video. Also, make sure to tell your mom, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, to your friends, to tell her friends, to her friend that don't like me. Let us talk time around where your mama just might be a hoe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.